Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Asaracus, the king of Dardania, the kingdom that gave rise to the Trojan people. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so to stay tuned for upcoming videos. In Greek mythology, Asaracus was a king of Dardania, the kingdom established by Dardanus, and the kingdom that gave rise to the Trojan people. Asaracus was the second son of Tros, making Asaracus grandson of Erichthonius and great-grandson of Dardanus. Asaracus' mother was Caliroe, the naïd daughter of Scamander, or Acalaris, daughter of Ephmedes. Asaracus had one elder brother, Ilus, and a younger brother, Ganymede, as well as two less unknown sisters, Cleomestra and Cleopatra. During Tros' rule of Dardania, Ganymede was famously abducted by Zeus to become the cupbearer of the gods. According to a less common version, Asietes and Cleomestra were also mentioned as parents of Asaracus. In this account, his brothers were Alcathus and Antenor. In some versions of the myth, Ganymedes was not a brother of Asaracus, but also a son of Asaracus, Asaracus' other son being called Capis. As the second son of Tros, Asaracus was not scheduled to become the next king of Dardania, for this would be the inheritance of Ilus. Ilus, though, had built a new city away from the mountainous heartland of Dardania, a city named Ilion, or Ilium, which also became known as Troy. And when Tros died, Ilus decided to remain in his new city, and instead decreed that Asaracus would become the new king of Dardania, whilst Ilus remained king of Ilion. The house of Dardanus was now split into two distinct family lines. The direct family line of Ilus is important in Greek mythology, for after Ilus came King Laomedon, who was then succeeded by King Priam as ruler of Ilion, or Troy, as the city of Ilus was by then known. The family line of Asaracus was also important to the ancient Greeks, but was even more important for the Romans. Asaracus would marry the knight Hieromnimi, daughter of the Potami Simois. Others say his wife was Clitodora, daughter of Laomedon, and Asaracus would become father to a son and heir Capis. Capis would become father to Anchises, who himself was father of Aeneas, a mythological founder of Rome. Now it would be assumed that Asaracus would be buried in Dardania, though Quintus Sirmerineus in post Homerica tells of him being buried in the city of Troy, next to the temple of Athena and the later palace of Priam. Let us finish with the following saying. Praise is more sweet than all pleasures. Plato. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.